Hmm. Well, that seems tight. Oh yeah. If you're wondering what I am doing, I am working on the cruise control. I went ahead and taken the servo loose so I can get to this connector back here. Uh, I'm horrible at diagnosing these things. So, what I am trying to do What I'm supposed to do is yeah, there's some wires here. I've got to check the resistance. Okay. So, I have some uh, troubleshooting data. Uh, okay. I know it doesn't give me the correct application, but I have just matched symptoms up. Symptom. Slight surge detected by seat of the pants feel. No speed change. Shows on speedometer. No, no, no speed change shows on the speedometer. Uh, replace the throttle position sensor and road test to determine absence of surge. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and I'm not going to do that just yet. I want to rule out other conditions first. And here, okay, 88 to 1990 Econoline. Light surging at 55 to 65 miles an hour during wet condition. A surge of one to three mile per hour may be observed. Does it wet or dry? And the corrective action it gives me is to apply grease D7AZ-19A331-A to the 6-pin connector at the servo. TSB is being prepared. Uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and do that last. Uh, because... Uh, yeah, here we go. Surging while using speed control to hold the vehicle at steady speed. A surge of 2 to 5 mile an hour may be observed on the speedometer. Check for continuity on circuits 147, 148, and 149 between the servo and the amplifier. All should measure less than 5 ohms with an ohmmeter. Repair as necessary. If these circuits are okay, then check the feedback potentiometer in the speed control circuit. Resistance between circuit 148 and either of circuits 147 and 149 should measure 20,000 to 30,000 ohms. Replace the servo if resistances are out of range. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and check these resistances. That's, that's going to be the main thing I'm going to check. Hmm. Okay, I wasn't very successful at uh, back probing these uh, two leads. But number 149 is feedback pot to amplifier, brown and light green. <clears throat> and 147 is purple and light blue. Uh, yeah, okay, so there's two right there. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to check uh, the resistance between those two leads. Let me uh, get you uh, set up here on the uh, tripod.
Okay, so I have 27. Okay, let me step down the next range. Let's see, 6.05 thousand. I'm gonna say it's probably a problem right there. I'm gonna say we probably got a bad servo. Let me go ahead and pull these pins out. An awful lot of dirt and corrosion on those. I want to clean that out also. So I'm going to get my wires untangled here. 6.04. Okay. That would be six, uh, yeah, a little over 6,000 ohms. Uh, sit down one more range. And, yep, I'm out of limits. Okay. Right now, we were looking at a little over 6,000 ohms. And it should be around 20,000, so that's going to, probably going to be our problem right there. Actually, I don't really think that I should have to uh, test anymore. But, hold on a minute. I'll come back and consult with my uh, uh, wires again. Here we go. I got a lot of crap thrown out in the seat. <sighs> 147, 148, 149. Okay, let's see what, uh, what number 148 is. Position to amplifier. Uh, it seemed to me like either I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna either go from 147 to 148, then I'll probably go from 148 to 149. I'm probably gonna go to both of those. Because it doesn't chill and tell me what I need to go from on 148 to, but okay, so that's that's going to be the next step. Okay, I'm going to try that. And number 148 is yellow and red. That is servo feedback pot position to amplifier. That's going to be its reference, actually. What that what that will be. Okay, so I'm going to try that one. Yellow and red. That is the one in the middle here. And we're going from there. And I got around 14,000. And I'll go with the last one. It should probably be about the same. Right at about the same. So we're about 6,000 out of range there. And I'm going to guess. My diagnostic is going to be that this servo is bad. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get this connector loose. Wow, it's pretty dirty in there also. I don't know if you can see it. So the next thing, I'm going to go and clean all that crud out, and then I'm going to put the servo back in. I'll just put it all back together, and then we'll see what happens. And the next thing, I'll have to check the voltage at the throttle position sensor. Oh yeah, and I already had the grease to use with it. Now, it said to apply grease to the connector, but um, the problem I have, it didn't say where. And I'm going to guess it probably said like maybe around the outside edge of it. Because if I if I applied it to the connect to the metal pins themselves, then it wouldn't then I would have a, a continuity loss. Because this is actually a non-conductive grease. Let's 
So, so we're going to find out. Maybe some of you out on YouTube uh, could answer that a little better than what's indicated in the TSB that I just looked up. So that or, or possibly could have terminal spread. Well, I, I really think that the resistance that we just looked up a while ago is going to be the problem. You know, it's just one of those feelings that you get. Got the servo reconnected. I'll go ahead and reconnect that vacuum line. And I'll go ahead and install the bolts. A gentleman brought me a truck one time. It was an 82 F 150 XL. Manual windows, manual locks, but had tilt, cruise, and it was, you know, all vinyl, carpet, delete, and everything. It had tilt in it. And, uh, it just had the standard, um, horn pad on it. You know, I opened up the hood and there was the servo. It was all wired up and everything. And, uh, but it wasn't hooked up to the engine. I told him. I got a box full of cruise control switches. If you want to, I can get that cruise control working. He was like, no, nah, it's okay. I didn't even know that it had it. Yeah, well, suit yourself. At one time, I had three or four of these servos, but I don't know what ever happened to them. I guess I could borrow one off the of Red Ford, try it and see if it works. Let's see everything's hooked back up. All right, well, one thing that's left to do, I'm going to go ahead and check the voltage at the throttle position sensor. Because if none of this works, I'm going to go ahead and put a throttle position sensor on it next before I put a servo on it. Okay, well, I've got it all back together. Uh, without having to tear the dash apart in order to get in there, I just don't have time to do it right now. I didn't check the continuity to the amplifier. But it does work. And I'm going to say that I'm not going to have any continuity issues between that. And going by just the ranges alone, um, or on, on the leads that we that we tested, that they're far out of range, that that is going to be the main source of the problem. Uh, so my diagnostic is maybe it might need a servo. Uh, before I put a servo on it, I will put a throttle position sensor on it. Uh, that maybe cleaning the connector may have helped it. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway. Uh, when I get time, I will go ahead and dismantle it and check the continuity. Check all the uh, amplifier circuits also. But, I think I've made a but that is my preliminary diagnosis anyway, is the uh, servo. Okay, well I gotta get all this picked up, cleaned up. I gotta get ready to go. Thanks for watching.